Hello and welcome. It's Saturday afternoon football. Dennis Cometti here, broadcasting live. Looks like the fans have opted for the lounge chair for this encounter. Collaborating with me in the commentary box is Matthew Richardson. Welcome, Richo. Thanks, Dennis. How I've been looking forward to this game all week. Banners ready for the players. The Hawks running on. Umpire tosses the coin. Round one and the start of the home and away season. Yes, in fact, week one really provides a true form guide to the season. The players are all eagerly awaiting the siren. The players launch into the first turn. The will to win is important, but the will to prepare is vital. We will see which team has done their homework for this match. Mitchell caught with the ball. Kicked by Laidler. Mills has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Great mark. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Franklin going for number one. Slots it. And we have the first goal of the match. All is in readiness. The ball bouncing well. McAvoy punches. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Shoots off the handball. Booted by Sinclair. Cunningham presents and takes the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Strong mark. Choose to kick it. A mark by Franklin. 50 metres from home. Well, if you could hand-pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. You wouldn't believe it. It shaved the goalpost. Frawley. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. He gets in under pressure. Shields with the kick. Parker gets the mark without contest. He kicks it long. Laidler marks it. He lays off the pass. Robinson slams the ball to his boot. Stratton really forced to earn that mark. Jams it on the boot. An easy interception for Smith. Rioli making his way in. Let's hope he's compensated for the win. He can't close the deal, and it's a point. Teammate scrambling to make a lead. Tippett decides to play on. Gets boot to leather. He has space for an easy mark. Hanabry puts it on the boot. Great grab. Just two minutes to go. Wins the handball. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. McAvoy gets a hard bump from Sinclair. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. Rough hit marks. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. 20 metres from home. Gee, you wouldn't like to miss from here. McAvoy can really set the tone of the game with his ruck work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. He's caught with the ball. Great hands. Franklin puts his boot on it. And the ball goes over the boundary line. Mills coming onto the ground. 90 seconds to go. Punch by McAvoy. He wins the contest. 40 metres out. A pretty safe bet from this position. The ball is slammed towards goal by Peeney. Sydney in front, but only one goal the difference. The bounce, laser straight. Cleared by McAvoy. Bump by Sicily. Lucky bounce collected. Smith taps. Smith sends it to open space. Parker keeps it alive with the foot. He smashes and bashes him. Smith launches one towards goal. That'll be brought up by the coach at training. Bad kick, resulting in a free to Sydney. Annabry slams it on the boot. Great mark under pressure. Pressure. You know more about him than me, Richo. Reckon he can bag this one? I reckon he may struggle from here, Dennis. Nice work from Sharon Makers. That will settle his nerves. 
The first goal is always welcome. Show and make is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Rioli is streaming past and gets the footy. That ball's travelling. The big kick for goal goes straight through. Hawthorne by six points. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. McAvoy with the tap. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. McAvoy guides it. Rioli taps it. Gains possession. Hewitt pummels him. Grundy just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Kicked by Kennedy. The tackle is laid on and forces the ball loose. Cunningham with a chance if he keeps a cool head. My goodness, the wee ball has gone so high there'll be snow on that one when it comes down. The ball over the line. All eyes on the ball as the Ruckman battle it out. Hit by McAvoy. Rioli sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Whitecross trying to strangle him with that tackle. Hewitt sends one up towards the wing. Richo, how did you see the opening quarter? They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. The scores were very high in that term. Let's go to the stats sheet now and see how the players performed. Hawthorne with two tackles, lagging behind Sydney on 11. Thanks, Richo. Let's go back to the action. Never give up, never give in. And when the upper hand is yours, you may have the ability to win with the dignity that you absorbed the loss. A favourable bounce. Shields is able to grab it on the half volley. Sinclair just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Jams it on the boot. Roughhead with the mark. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. A chance to add one more to his tally. Fantastic goal by Roughhead. That's three in a row for Hawthorne. Hawthorne in front by two goals with that score. Tapped by McAvoy. He collects the loose ball. Ball up in the centre square. Sinclair, I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Ruffhead going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short tactically this week. 25 metres out. Famous last words I know, but this is a goal he shouldn't miss. All is in readiness. Look at that bounce. Sinclair without a touch. The clearance by McAvoy. The umpire will give us another ball up. McAvoy with the tap. Bounces favourably for Impey. Sinclair brought him down, holding the ball. Nice bit of power there. Almost a touch of synchronised swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Aaliyah controls it. Durade goes down like a silent tree in the forest. Mitchell is starting to get a lot of the football. Sends it on its way. He has space for an easy mark. The dominance we're seeing from the Hawks at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside Ford 50. Tippett slams the ball to his boot. Puts boot to ball. Mills with a strong mark. Sends it on its way. The clock ticks down with only two minutes left. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Jones kicks it. He takes a strong mark. Distance could be the problem. Franklin slams one on the boot for goal. Franklin gets the goal from a long way out. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Good fist. The loose ball scooped up. Kennedy collects. Kennedy taps it. Gets the loose ball. Clean tap by Robinson. Mills with the ball. Shields closes him down. Naismith decisively. Deft touch from Burton. Gains possession. The ball in the hands of Sinclair. Whack. Have that made. Off the ground. Bumps the pigskin. Papley. Free kick. Papley. Just gauging which way that wind is blowing. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Sends the Sharon on its way. Heaney getting into position for the kick. An ideal position to be kicking from. A chance to add one more to his tally. Score for the Swans. That's his second. That's two in a row for Sydney. Sydney trailing by less than two goals. 
McAvoy knocks it down the field. Time drying up with only 60 seconds to go. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young, lethal Lee Matthews. The hind posts should be cowering in fear. Franklin has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. He gets in under pressure. Has the chance to even things out here. Heaney has got it. The scores are all tied up. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. Naismith. Timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Kicked in a flurry. Jack boots it. Aaliyah gets the mark without contest. Kicks it. Lloyd grabs that one. Lloyd will take every opportunity to take a screamer when a step ladder presents itself. We're approaching the siren. Papley goes for goal. The goal for Sydney. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Good bounce. McAvoy punches it. Bounces favorably for Smith. Grabs the footy. Slams it on the boot. Hawthorne trailing by six at the break. Don't give up at half time. Concentrate on winning the second half as well. Time to take a look at the stats. The scores are way too close for Sydney to be dominating on the stats like this. Insightful, Richard. Two quarters down and only two to go. The players have had a good break. They should be ready to bring this game home. Make sure your worst enemy doesn't live between your own two ears. He gets his hands on the footy. He gathers the loose ball. He's running hot, Richard. Yep, Dennis, he's a class act. He's really a ball magnet. Laidler guides it. Mitchell manages to sneak it through. Goal for goal now. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce is dead straight. McAvoy gets the tap. Smith picks up the bouncing ball. Rioli is streaming past and gets the footy. Great mark over the pack. What do you think, Richard? Can he make this one? I would expect him to get this, Dennis. 45 metres out. A 30-degree kick for Schellenmakers. Hawthorne with a marginal one-goal lead. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Tap by McAvoy. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Umpire not hesitating to call the ball up right there. McAvoy with a big fist on it. Scoops up the ball. He receives the handball. That kick has gone well wide and hit the point post on the full free kick. The ball is returned to play. Claimed by McAvoy. Tip it passes. He gives the ball away. Parker off. Breathing like Tony Soprano. McAvoy wins the tap. Terrible timing by Naismith. Gathers the ball. Couldn't stop himself in time. We'll have a throw in. Here we go again. Punch by McAvoy. Well, yes, he is a bully, but he's not a mean bully. He's more a teacher, the kind of guy who'd take your lunch money and invest it for you. Laidler was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Laidler can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. He slams that on the boot. He grabs it. Jack taking aim. This kick to square it up. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. Gets his first. The ball has been bounced. McAvoy taps it. Impey made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Great mark over the pack. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. Scoops up the ball. Handballs from the tackle. Nice interception. Intercept by Franklin. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Wins the hardball. Omara kicking the skin off that one. And the ball goes sailing out of bounds. Thrown in majestically. Effective hit out there. He gets his hands on the footy. Shields shown a lot of character with his recent performances. We're at the 92nd mark. Sinclair is just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. He lays off the pass. Jack intercepts the ball. The ball has been grabbed on the bounce. He gets the ball. Mitchell slams the ball to his boot. And the ball goes out of play. Umpire lets it loose. 
McAvoy taps. Tippett controls. Interception. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. He's running hot, Richard. He's using the ball superbly, Dennis. All is in readiness. Here we go. McAvoy aims for his man on the ground. Picked up the ball, dragged down by Jones. Rioli with the football. He gets another possession. Mills gets the hand pass. McAvoy picks up the loose ball. Sinclair has so much potential, he could just be anything. McAvoy with the tap. Puopolo gets it off the ground, sending it on its way. He gathers up the intercepted ball. He grabs the ball. Good hand skills there. Bruce dishes it off to the running man. The Hawks are really looking at goods with the lead over. The Swans. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Batted down nicely by McAvoy. The ball spills to Impey. Jones on the ball at the moment. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young lethal Lee Matthews. The hind posts should be cowering in fear. Hewitt gets it on the bounce. Jams it on the boot now. Ball over the boundary line. Umpire calls for a boundary throw. Here we go again. McAvoy punches. Cleanly picked up. Clean tap by Kennedy. Mitchell gets dragged down. The Swans with a lot to think about as they trail by 12. Outplayed, outgunned. Sydney need to take stock and show some real vigour here in the last. They have the talent and the legs, but do they have the belief? Richo, what do the stats tell us? Both teams fairly close in the handball stats, 24 to 22. Sydney and Cawthorn are very level on the possession count, which reflects the evenness of this contest. Thanks for that, Richo. One quarter to play. It's not over when you're losing terribly. It's over when you quit. Impey gives the ball to the man on the run. Mitchell gets collected by the tackle. Tapped by Jones is in his possession. Sinclair kicks. Nice hands. Puts boot to ball. Marked by Laidler. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Franklin marks. Distance could be the problem. Nice mark under pressure. 40 metres from home. Papley going for number two. He's having a ball. If you'll excuse the pun, both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Here we go. McAvoy with the tap. Smith just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Reed gets the interception on the bounce. He gets the hand pass. Booted by Jones. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Kicks the skin off him. He gives the ball away. Clean tap by Dimpy. There's players everywhere, but somehow he manages to send out the handball. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. He's using the ball superbly, Dennis. Is in his possession. Lloyd bumps. He gives the ball away. Laidler feeds the hand pass out. Reed with a daisy cutter. Marked by Sinclair. Sinclair is a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. Lining it up with the goal now. Aaliyah kicks. Marks. Didn't middle that kick, did he, Richard? That was an absolute shocker. Kicks it. Great mark over the pack. Kicked by Kennedy. Naismith claims it. Boots it. Great mark under pressure. Papley will need to pull something special out here. A 45 degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. McAvoy gets the tap. Grundy controls it. Grundy needs to be more aggressive whilst on the field. He tends to get pushed around a bit. It gets tapped. He kicks the ball. That was hard at it. Sometimes you've just got to cop one for the team. Aaliyah picks up the loose ball. It's going. If that was basketball, you'd call that from downtown. Umpire bounces the ball. McAvoy wins the tap. Terrible timing by Naismith. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Whitecross unloads one towards goal. 
White Cross scoring from a long bomb. Right bounce. McAvoy with the mighty fist. He has the ball. Mills collects. The contest, no match for him. Nice drop punt. Strong mark by Bruce. Bruce. Oh, he spilled it. He gathers the loose ball. Couldn't stop in time right there. Shields on for Hawthorne. McAvoy with the hit. Takes control of the ball. Rough end. What happened there? The Hawks by a point. Tippett kicks to himself. Gets boot to leather. Moves it quickly by hand. Smith tackles too high on Hewitt. Hewitt sends one up towards the wing. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Mitchell, he's just an absolute superstar when it comes to marking. Show and makers taking aim. It's on its way. Straight into the woodwork. I reckon he's a little bit unlucky there. Tippett assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. He's chopped that one off. Reed with another possession. He gets the hand pass. Over the top of the pack. McAvoy with the inside 50. What an end to the match. So close, but victory just out of reach for the Swans. Richo, what did you make of the final result? Confidence is contagious, so is lack of confidence. Let's hope the result doesn't come back to haunt them. Final scores are 63 to 61. That's all from us. Thanks for joining us and thank you, Richo. See you again next game. It was great to be here, Dennis. I'll be back next time. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon. Thank you.